343 has stated that we'll have far more customization beyond just weapons, armor, and vehicles, and why Halo players may be kind of shocked about what's coming. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving our news and information on the video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. Make sure you subscribe, keep yourself updated with everything going on with Halo. So yes, you heard me right, that there's gonna be a lot more customization in Halo event than we've ever seen before in a Halo game. You know, normally we're just used to armor customization, but recently with the MCC, we've been getting some weapon and vehicle customization, which has been great. But we're actually gonna get much more than that. On the topic of customization, 343 said this, the coding system allows us to define colors, wear and tear, patterns and materials on a region by region basis on the Spartan or anything in the game, be it armor, weapons, vehicles, or even environment elements like fuel barrels. But after reading that gets me wondering, did we get any hints within the gameplay trailer exactly what kind of environmental customization we'll see? Well, I wanted to go into that and also go into a few other things that 343 will likely do for additional customization because the Halo Infinite multiplayer is going to be free to play. So there's going to be a lot of changes coming to the multiplayer and the way the game is going to be customized and monetized. All right, so I went on YouTube to check out the trailer and I analyzed some of the fuel rods or fuel barrels, whatever you want to call them now, for some reason they're called differently besides fusion coils, uh, to see like what kind of customization did we see there. Uh, one thing I noticed, especially with this trailer, that the fusion coils are rather flat. There really isn't much in the way of dimensions or anything like that within the coloring. They're really just like a flat yellow or flat blue that we saw throughout the entire thing. You can see the fusion core just over the years with Halo 2, 3, Reach, and Halo 4. It seems like kind of over time they became more uh, advanced, a little more in detail and things like that. But the, like seriously, like the Halo Infinite ones kind of looking very similar to like the Halo 2 Fusion Core for whatever reason. Like you can see how flat it is rather, but you can look inside the Halo 3 one. There's some coloring dimensions, like there's some kind of fluid kind of mixing around in there or something like that. We don't get that in Halo Infinite whatsoever really it's just pretty much that one color and here's an example of the other type of fusion coil that we saw within the trailer it's a similar one but it's blue now normally when we've had fusion coils in the game they've been either one color or they've been like a version that we've gotten from the covenant so maybe this is like banished versions but like i have a feeling since they're such plain coloring to these fusion cores that likely we'll be able to customize the color that we see in game. And if that's the case, that means the lighting that's reflecting on the floor right here is in real time, which also is very demanding on the system as well. Could be the reason why we've seen the game and maybe not like the best visual quality compared to other games out there right now. Also just right here at the Yeet section, you can kind of see the difference between the two different kinds of fusion cores that are sitting around in the gameplay trailer, the blue and the yellow versions as well. I looked throughout the rest of the trailer. Those are the only two that we could find. Uh, we didn't see any other kind of types of cores either, but uh, I just I just love the Yeet section and being able to use a, uh, a grappling hook just to be able to throw a fusion core just at whatever you want to. I'm going to be doing this way too much in the game. What other kind of customization will we see within Halo Infinite? Well, actually one of the discussions I had on my live stream, which we stream every Tuesday and Thursday, by the way, if you guys want to check it out, link in the description down below is that uh, there might be HUD customization, which would be the first time we've ever seen that before. And we've had that actually in other Halo games, surprisingly, not your typical Halo game. We had it in the El Dorito mod for the Halo Online game. You can see this is the kind of your standard HUD that they had. They were able to figure out a way to change the coloring on things. You can change like the shadowing and the colors themselves on the different kind of HUD elements within Halo Online, which is pretty freaking cool. I would expect at least this probably when it comes to Halo Infinite's customization. Uh, they actually showed a really cool option right here. Like you see like how they were able to even customize like the character indicator right here, the coloring of the HUD itself, but we'll still maintain like a blue hue to the whole thing. Uh, they were able to change the outline of colorings based on different types of weapons as well, which I think would be an amazing additional feature just to make sure that you can visually tell right off the bat like, oh, that's a power weapon because it's outlined in red or something like that. 
really important thing to kind of get that quick visual confirmation of what you'll be messing with when it comes to Halo. And someone on Halo Online was able to figure out a way to just change the coloring of the indicator on your weapon right there. This person made like a bright pink, which again, like just shows the different kinds of customizations that are truly available in Halo if they can figure out a way to do it. And we've had different HUD elements as well within a Halo game. Halo 5, for example, right here, uh, like the senior UI artist of Jeff Christie made together a art station just kind of showing the UI that he made for the game. You can see just like the drastic different kinds of UI that we have just for the different Spartans within Halo 5 themselves. Like this one's Spartan Lock. Right here, I believe this is Vale's HUD right here. You can see how different it looks. It's a different style to it right there. This is Tanaka's HUD right here. You can kind of see the difference in the shield bars, stuff like that, and the different kind of overlay that it had on top of the um, game as well for the overlay. And also you had Spartan Buck, who had much more like an ODS, classic ODST style HUD as well, to kind of just show the differences between those. So why wouldn't we be able to customize our own HUDs when it comes to Halo Infinite? And then the features that's come recently in Call of Duty are tracer rounds. You can actually customize the different kind of coloring that your weapon tracers for your bullets have, which is pretty cool. Uh, I would actually really like to see this kind of stuff happen. Plus it's with like the sci-fi feature to the whole thing. I think it would kind of give it a much more sci-fi feel having like a red, blue or green or whatever kind of color you would like when it comes to a tracer round. Plus it might actually help get that visual confirmation of where your bullets are going. Cause like when I'm playing Halo 3, sometimes it can be kind of difficult to judge where my bullets are going. I have to kind of have a very sharp eye be able to tell like where my bullets are going and how far I need to lead my shot. So this actually would be not only a cool addition, but actually a really functionally helpful addition as well to the game. Another thing we're very likely to see are going to be emotes like this we see here in Destiny. These are very popular and I can understand why because a lot of times now they're starting to make different kind of references to different parts of media outside the world just so then people can have some kind of fun dance to add to it. Now I do hope that they don't do anything too drastic that would actually kind of break the immersion of Halo itself, but like can you imagine like a full on like animated tea bag motion you could do within the game, just like completely dominate your guys. I mean, Halo already has the best tea bag physics, but then be able to have a full on emote that will do if you know a much more dramatic version of it. I mean, that would be pretty freaking awesome. Another thing I highly suspect would probably be some form of a gesture wheel as well. Again, just some more customization, more options to get developers to possibly monetize or give just more customizations to players. And we do know that, uh, that we will be able to unlock certain types of customization by just playing the game itself. Uh, 343 has really put a big emphasis on rewarding player time, giving us the type of customization that you know Halo players want and deserve, and actually some other things that we've never had before in a Halo game. Remember the Halo 5 beta and actually just Halo 5 in general with the post-game victory dance kind of show off screen? Why wouldn't they customize that in some way as well? I'm having a feeling we'll probably see that come back as well to Halo Infinite in what capacity? Well, I bet you we'll probably see some customization with that as well. For example, Black Ops 3 right here had the example of basically the winner of whatever round that you guys were playing would do some kind of game winning emote that would they be able to showcase like some kind of unique feature or some kind of thing that you can do within the game. Here's another example of that. You can kind of see he has like a grenade or whatever they were playing. I don't know, I didn't play Black Ops 3. But you can kind of see the different kind of stuff that you can pull off with for additional customization to possibly monetize or add in some kind of feature to get guys so people want to grind out and play the game more. The reason why they're looking probably to do all this is because it's been uniformly accepted that you don't monetize the gameplay. That's what Battlefront 2 tried to do and they nearly lost the license to Star Wars because Disney got so mad by all the bad press. It's been uniformly accepted to monetize the customization. We're gonna see a lot more customization in Halo Infinite. To what degree? We're not fully sure yet because we haven't gotten the entire story of what is there for customization. But knowing that you can customize elements within the world itself does lead itself to probably go more beyond customization that we've ever seen before in Halo Infinite. To what degree we'll have this additional customization and how much could it potentially cost? Well, as soon as we find out more, I'll let you guys know on this channel, so make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date with everything going on. If you guys missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.